Hello, this is Walking with Dinosaurs 2, episode number 4. And it is across the Atlantic. Well, here we are, in what will eventually become Utah, or in the early Cretaceous period. In fact, the Bahrain or Patian stage transitional period. Oh well, here we have a pack of dinosaurs savagely attacking a lone Tenontosaurus. The poor creature doesn't attack a little stand candy and these fluffy feathery sharp tooth killers. Or the feather balls, depending on what way you think of them. It's been a little while in, since then the Tenontosaurus unfortunately died. In fact, there's plenty of meat for them all to share, and all the rats have rushed over excitedly. This, it's a bank for them, it's a banquet. So now all the raptors are lining up for their fair share of their gorgeous meal. So, but unaware to them, someone's going to try and gate crash their party. Or their party meal. Slash banquet. Whatever you call it. Oh no, a pack of Utah Raptors has run. Uh, since then, a few minutes later, it's all on Raptor on Raptor combat. Though the Utah Raptors are outnumbered, they are much stronger. The Dinonicus can kill them easily. The Dinonicus got the Dinonicai, but numbers on their side. If this one the largest packs in the entire state, the entire area. You can see that these Haraptors are falling like matchwood. They're now let's stay up. Now also can be glitch. Now Sorica Science also intervened. The largest dance in the region. Now the Raptors. And blood going everywhere. Now I'm going to wait for a landslide to occur. Raptors are trying to leave now. They know it's the longest section they have. So the raptors are now central. They well, they're trying to. This is an incredibly difficult situation to get out of, especially when you got an angry saw of Poseidon right behind you. What was that? Oh yes, another big rock. So the veloc so the tr oh not veloc raptors are dynamicus on out the plains. Sounds too well. Run for it! This is the sort of sound that's not pleased with their actions at all. There's a very different kind of dinosaur that's around here. The Gastonia, a small armored dinosaur, I believe it's Nodrosaurid. That may have in fact gone to fight the Utahraptor. I can see if Utahraptor ever tried fighting that tank, it will have a bit of trouble. Oh well, we're gonna see what's in the UK now. Yes, the yep, the across your land can be very different. Here's a herd of Aldrosaurus. You don't know very much about them, but they're going to try and cross. The best squeaky out of the so I used to be Gorgonopolis, but then I learned I lived in the Jurassic period, not to Cretaceous. I attacked them. Around the corner, there is a ferocious Baryonyx. The Aldrosaurus got reason to hurry. And now we're on to the mainland. This the small dinosaurs are now pinned up against the shore. Like as if they're on a pin board. The sauropods have gone and declined the, the limitations. The examples are like Brachiosaurus. And then the Brachiosaurus mentor. Actually, sauromophobia. Oh well. Now, here we have Ornithokines, I think it is. It's been attacked by a ferocious attack by a pack of Eurotyrannus. The large pterosaur managed to outwit them by flying over a rock that did. Your raptors cannot cross. Now the now the um Orno Frankinis or whatever it is is flying from DLI. Wherever it is. 
There it is. So you can see that his trunk has got a little tired since it wasn't quite prepared to fly. Oh, and Sormophobia. Sormophobia. There's also Iguanodon. It was the first one I've discovered. So now we're charging your pistol blades. We're literally like, CHARGING! Oh well. The Valdrasaurs are starting to catch up now. And look, over there! You can see them! They're running! They're running for it! Oh well. Such a shame that Euro Tyrannos is pursuing them when the first person discovered one was only an amateur and found one stuck into a cliff! <laughs> oh well. All the Valdrasaurs are now congregated the area they need to migrate to. More of these small dinosaurs are now starting to navigate their way through the her hills covered in herbs. Now in the Cretaceous Superior we have flowering plants. Just more herbs would have been around. Hence was a bit of a change of, of scenery. There's one other dinosaur around here. Another or New Hunter. They would have been the dominant predator around here. They were actually thought to be making a lot of sources. This a three second glimpse over later. Oh well, Euro Tyrannus is attacking the Valdrasaurus as they escape. Such ironic for so ironic for the music that's on right now. Oops! Oops, 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 oops. I actually dropped the microphone! <laughs> oh. Oh well, they are going going through this canyon now. Very narrow canyon. Well not that narrow. If it was too narrow, you'll be a ravine and you'll just go sh and you'll get stuck in the in the splits. <laughs> Oh, here we have Pol around here with Polar Campus. Close to your lady Gastonia, there's been another sword that would have travelled or would have travelled with one at all. That's the one with Fogia as well. And you see this is quite a large herby stretch. So grassy, it's herby. Oh well, there's some smaller ones around here, like Homo lepti, which is only known from its skull cap. So we guess it might be a Ceratopsian or a bonehead dust. There's also Hathodon, the third type of dinosaur we discovered when I first found that falls a baby iguanodon. If you look carefully, you can see baby ones around here anyway. Oh, it's a secret dinosaur. There's a Megalosaurus somewhere around here. It's actually living in the Jurassic period, not the Cretaceous, but it's a secret because. Look, the desert! Oh, now it's the credits. Well, that's the end of, p of part four. In part five, you'll see down under and above under. Goodbye! Now, when it was finished,